Welcome back for another adventure. In just 50 years, the UAE has transformed massively from what was a desert dwelling to a metropolis with entertainment and leisure. Today, I'm on the hunt for the biggest adrenaline rush I can find. So where better to go than the nation's capital? To the biggest entertainment destination in the country, Yas Island. Okay, so to start us off on our little adventure, we're starting off at Scooby-Doo's Museum of Mysteries. They say it's haunted. <laughs> it is? <laughs> I wasn't scared. Okay, maybe a little bit. But one of the great things about Warner Brothers World is they have something for the whole family. With the cartoon characters and the themed districts, you can get lost in your childhood fantasies. But I've come here for a thrill, and I've heard that the one to go to is the Riddler's Revolution. Well, that certainly got my heart rate going. But Warner Brothers is only one of the theme parks and destinations on Yas Island. And I'd heard if you really want a thrill, there's something over a climb. So, it's time for another adrenaline adventure. This time, indoor skydiving in the world's biggest indoor skydiving tunnel in the world here at Climb. And it's massive. Carlo, you're my instructor today. So uh, tell me, what, what are we going to learn today on indoor skydiving? Uh, yes, Paris, nice to meet you. Uh, welcome to Climb Abu Dhabi. Here you can experience uh, skydiving without having to jump off a plane. Uh, whether you are a first timer or an experienced skydiver, uh, we welcome you to try it for the first time or develop your skills, take them to the next level. Yeah. <laughs> skills might we be learning today? Uh, today we're going to try to improve our belly flying skills. That's the first position that we teach the students once they come and try it. The banana. Exactly. This particular wind tunnel, it looks ginormous. Yes, exactly. This is the biggest wind tunnel in the world by far. The previous wow. largest wind tunnel in the world was 16 feet diameter. This one is 32. So you can imagine how exponentially bigger it is. So does that allow us to do more skills in there or is it? Yeah. Matter of fact is that professional skydivers who train uh, bigger formations, a larger group of uh, people can come in here and practice with that freedom of moving on the vertical plane. Of course, and that also means that for a first timer, the experience is also more realistic. Whether you're a first timer or an actual seasoned skydiver, this is the place where you want to come to. Let me tell you, that was a lot of fun and a great way to feel the sensation of skydiving without actually having to jump out of an airplane. But if you're like me, and heights is where you get your thrills, then climb 
has something else in store. All right, Ben, this is a pretty big wall here. How tall is this? This is 42 metres, this climbing wall. This is the region's biggest indoor climbing wall. Wow, and you're expecting me to go up here today? I'm expecting just that. All right, now is this the only wall you have or you have other walls? No, we have five walls here. We've got this one, this is our, our mammoth one, and we've sure. got some other walls around the centre which we can show you as well. Right, different yeah. heights obviously and different Different, different heights, we've got routes across all of them. We've got about 250 routes here. Okay, so we've got about 100 climbing routes and about 100, 150 uh, on the boulder right. area over here as well. And I see lots of different colour grips, is that, does that mean something? Or? Yeah, so the different colours mark the different routes that you can do. Yeah, initially you can just climb on whatever you choose to climb on, but if you want a sort of higher level of difficulty, we use the colours to mark routes of different grades. Super, so I presume we're starting me off on, on the easiest level, right? Like a small wall? Uh, no, we're going to throw you right in there and I'm going to ask <laughs> you to go to the top of this wall. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. 42 metres. Okay, to the top. I think that's good. Wow. I don't know if my heart was racing because it's so physically demanding. Or I was just petrified. But my heart's going at like 150, probably more. So challenge completed. I made it to the top of the wall. And just when I thought I completed the biggest adrenaline rush on this island, little did I know that they had something else in store for me. At Ferrari Wells, they have a number of rides themed specifically around their cars. And of course, the Formula One. The park is renowned for being the home of the world's fastest roller coaster, the Formula Rossa. This one looks like fun, but unfortunately for me, this is the Formula Rossa Junior, and they aren't going to let me off that easy. Ferrari World is also home to family friendly rides and attractions. Family Zone provides state of the art rides designed exclusively for kids. Well, that was certainly one of the most exciting days I've ever had, and I'm sure it won't be long before I return back to Yas Island.